hello everyone so now we are going to learn how we can assign the IP in this project what we are going to learn we are going to learn how we can assign the IP address to the layer 2 switch okay so if you see here this is a layer 2 switch this is also layer 2 switch how we can assign the IP address to this switch if you remember this is a layer 2 switch we cannot assign the IP to this port if you go here and try to assign the IP we cannot why we want to assign the IP to this switch? Why we want to assign the IP to this switch? Because we can manage this switch. This is a manageable switch. This is a manageable switch. So we can manage. How we can manage? We can manage by using Telnet or SSH. If we have IP, then only we can manage this device. Without IP, we cannot. For that purpose, we need to assign the IP. So now we are going to learn how we can assign the IP to layer 2 switch. Okay, this is a layer 2 switch. Let's see how we can assign the IP. First I will show you. We cannot assign the IP to the interface. First I will show that one. Maybe some guys are saying that we can assign the IP to the interface as we are doing for the router. But no, for the layer, layer 2 switch, we cannot do like that. Okay, for the layer to switch, we cannot do that one. So let me do the configuration here. First of all, let me change the name as the switch one. Okay, after that, let me show you. If I go interface fast Ethernet zero by one, okay, I go under the interface, I write IP address. Let me give any IP. As just now, what we done for the router, let me do same thing. It will not work, but I want to show you. If you see here, invalid input detection okay invalid input detected at mark so this one they are not accepting the ip in simple and short we can say layer 2 device that is a layer 2 switch is not accepting the ip to the interface in short we can say for layer 2 device if you want to assign the ip to the interface we cannot assign okay it will not accept so what we can do, how we can assign the IP, how we can manage the device. Simple and short, we can assign here in the VLAN, okay, inside the VLAN. Let me write here VLAN 100, okay. I will give name as a VLAN 100, okay. Number I am giving VLAN 100, I will give name as a management or network management or anything. I will give network or network uh, let me give network only i give this name as a network vlan 100 is a network we are saying we can give it hr whatever you want but this one we are using to manage the device so i give the name network so now if you want to check you can check also right do show vlan do show vlan brief if you see we have one vlan here okay 100 vlan we have now what i will do here I can assign the IP. If you don't want to take the VLAN 100, if you want to take the VLAN 1, you can take this one also, no issue. Okay. Whatever VLAN you want to keep for the management purpose, create that VLAN and assign that one. Example, you don't want to create anything this one. You want to use that default. As you are fresher, you don't want to go in deep now. You want to look in the high level. Later, you will look in the deep. So what I will do, I will not do this one. I will just use the default VLAN. Okay. So default VLAN, if you see show VLAN brief, we have the default VLAN. So what I will do, I will log into the default VLAN. How we can go in the default VLAN? We can write interface VLAN, give the VLAN number. Okay. When I write this one, I go under this VLAN. Now I can assign the IP. I will write IP address. 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 write no shirt okay so this way we can assign the ip to the switch if you want to assign the ip to the layer 2 switch we can go inside the vlan now i use the vlan 1 if you want to assign the ip in another vlan you can do i have vlan 10 also 100 also i created here if you want to use 100 200 whatever vlan you want to use in the real scenario you can take that one. Now I taken only VLAN one. Okay. If you want to check, you can write show IP interface brief. Okay. And if you see here, you have the VLAN one and this is the IP for the VLAN one. And if you see this port is up, up. Okay. 
and let me log into this machine let me give any ip i will give 192.168 1.2 okay and now from here i will try to ping that one i will write ping 192.168.1.1 okay what i am doing i am pinging this switch ip i am pinging this switch ip first packet drop after that it is working perfectly so this way we can assign the ip to the layer 2 switch how i assign just check here go inside that vlan okay go inside that vlan and assign the ip if you want to uh, assign the ip to the vlan 100 then go inside the vlan 100 if you want to assign the ip in the two, uh, 200 vlan vlan number 200 then go inside the two, vlan 200 if you want to assign the ip to the 300 that is vlan number 300 then go inside that one how we will go we will go right like we need to write interface then write the vlan and give the number you will be inside that vlan if you see this way then assign the ip that's all okay let me configure some basic stuff here like uh, i will configure here telnet okay so i will write lan vty 0 to 4 login local okay i done the telnet configuration i will create the local user i will write user av admin and password admin this way i can create the user and i can give enable secret password i will give so what i done here let me explain from here to here this is a telnet configuration and this is a local user available inside this switch and this is the enable password this three thing i done here now imagine anyone can access now this router this switch uh, imagine i am a network engineer i want to access this switch so what i will do i will uh, log into my computer after that i can telnet this one i can go to my command from i will write here telnet after that i will give the ip of this switch whatever ip we assign to the switch we assign this ip right and it is open and they are asking me username i will give admin password also admin and now i am inside the switch we put the enable password what we put admin so now i am inside the switch if you if i want to do the configuration i can do example i want to change the name from s1 that is sw1 to sw2 i can change if you see i change here okay and if you log in here also you can uh, press enter you will see now switch name is changed if i change here again here host name is sw1 okay and if you check in this uh, here also it will change again okay so what i am doing i am accessing this switch how i am accessing with the help of ip this ip and just now we learn how we can assign this ip we learn here this one first go under the vlan and assign the ip that's all so this way we will assign the ip to the layer 2 switch you need to remember in the layer 2 switch we cannot assign the ip inside the interface you cannot assign the ip to the interface in the layer 2 switch if you want to assign the ip to the interface then you cannot you need to look for the layer 3 switch but for layer 2 you can create the vlan and assign the ip to that vlan that's all okay with the help of that ip we can telnet or ssh and we can take the device remotely okay i hope it is clear for you in case if you face any issue whatsapp us our team will support you thank you